So in the past two weeks, I don't know if you guys know who Yes Theory is. It's a channel on YouTube. They do some amazing videos, amazing concepts, amazing videos themselves. They're filmed greatly, or greatly. They're, they're filmed to perfection, I feel like, and they're just put together amazingly, and the stories they tell are absolutely amazing. So I think in the past two weeks, they've done two videos. Doesn't mean they were recorded in the past two weeks because of what they are. Kind of crazy stories. But in the past two weeks, I think they posted one video where they went to a blue zone, which there's a handful of places throughout the world that have people that just live extraordinary long lives where it's like, small towns and places that for some reason people are breaking and living over a hundred more commonly than elsewhere and so they went there to basically try finding out went to one of those places to try finding out like why is it these people live so long and and all this stuff and it was a place in italy off of it wasn't in it well it's considered italy it's on one of the islands i'm blanking on the name of it It wasn't sicily it was the other one um, <laughs> they went there for three, four days. They met the oldest woman in the town, and she's like, I think a hundred at least, if not older. And they like lived with these people and kind of just consumed their light lifestyle and saw how they lived and tried to understand why they lived so long. And I guess as a excuse me, I guess as a summary, uh or what their conclusion I feel like ended up being was that they I don't they, they kind of said that the, the main thing that they think kind of allows people to live so long there and it to be so common one on an actual just health note it is some things that definitely have to do with it is these places are remote they're, they don't deal with pollution. They don't deal with uh, pollution as much. They ha- they eat foods that they grow in their village and eat meats and every- everything that's local and don't deal with a bunch of like pollutants and stuff like that. But the main thing that they came up with at one point is probably just the sense of community. And not only that, but... Um, they don't, cause, cause it being a small village, they don't deal with like the hustle and bustle of modern society, like elsewhere, even though it, they, they still live in Italy. It's so remote and away from everything else that they don't deal with outside stresses. They probably don't deal with social media. They live in the moment. They don't put up a bunch of stress and and try to keep up with like modern life and stay up with news and just a bunch of extra weight that humans in society haven't had to deal with until recently. And they kind of think that that's probably one reason why people live so long and just enjoy life. They they when they got there even though none of them spoke Italian and uh, it took them a minute even to find one person that spoke English or French because one of the guys is bilingual um, they, they were so friendly and people were drinking at like freaking like 10 in the morning like and they stayed up till 3 one night just dancing and partying and and uh, stuff like that with the entire community and and this the hundred year old woman that they met they showed videos from her family where she was out gardening and working at 95 taking a pickaxe to this garden tilling up the ground and ripping out weeds and she's at that point 90 or older and i think part of it is just they don't deal with the like everyday stresses of like living in a main a a big city or just with like modern society it's slow you kind of it's slower you, you live day to day and they just enjoy life in general and then not only that they work um and it's like they don't lose that passion to live 
and that's probably one reason why they live as long as they do it's they don't they don't stop and it it was pretty cool to see